All right, we should be streaming. Streaming is a thing we should be doing right now. Uh, once again, I fucked with um, I fucked with the audio settings to try and make things a little bit better. I listened to the last recording and it wasn't that great. At least not as good as the first one. You guys were right. So I'll probably just buy a better mic at some point instead of just trying to make do with this shitty one. Anyways, welcome. This is FFT 1.3.06, and I'm Claude. And we're playing more Fall Fantasy Tactics 1.3. See who we got in the chat already. Yep. Our good friend Wabu Zihado is back. He's in there with the faces. I love the Twitch faces. This, one's, this is my favorite one. <laughs> okay. So, uh, while we wait around for everyone to show up, let me review what I did off-screen uh, yesterday. I didn't do too much. Basically, I learned Wave Fist on Ramza and Chakra. I actually didn't Swiggy, Ridley. There was a battle with two Mediators, one Minotaur, and one Amaran. That was pretty easy. Um, I learned Concentrate on Vegeta, because apparently everyone has a million evasion here in this game. You, I really decked out, Ridley. I, I gave you Magic Attack up, which was pretty good in the original version. I don't know if it still modifies attacks, magic attacks by 4.4 uh, four divided by 3, whatever percentage that is. Anyways, it was a good buff. But you still don't know any more spells. I turned Ridley, uh, I turned Chrono into a monk and I gave him equip armor. Which is a pretty good combo, at least in the original game. Because, like I said in the last stream, monks normally can't equip uh, helmets or heavy armor. But equip armor lets them do both. So in addition to their high natural starting hit points, they have a lot of HP with the armor. And I can't I gave you your mantle still. And the guests I didn't do shit. Although I should probably upgrade their weapons just a little bit. This is pretty pathetic. Yeah, sure. I guess I'll buy some real clothes for Delita. Fine. Oh yeah, and I did some shit with Wolf, but no one cares about Wolf. What can delete a Squire class equip? I don't know. It's not gonna tell me. Well, he can wear clothes, so we'll just give him a robe. Yeah, I had to give up the sword since you were a monk, Chrono. Oh, you can equip many things, I see. What? Whatever. You didn't miss anything, Vegeta. I was just going over what I did off screen, which I already told you about anyways. So no worries. Uh, I really should buy some battle boots, though. Oops, cursor's on screen. I see Wolf is playing Guild Wars 2 instead of watching this stream. What an asshole. Dude, why would you play Guild Wars 2 when you can watch the best game ever made? Played by me, the best person to ever play it. Okay. Anyways, um, I learned everything off screen. And that's, that about covers the review, so we'll just go ahead and go, so we don't get a random battle. We didn't. Alright, let's go. Thieves Fort, Maluda, etc. That's pretty good. Yeah, I know. 
I took care of all the bullshit off screen because no one wanted to see me grind, uh, you know, just doing accumulate over and over and over again. <laughs> really? Dude, I spent like 10 minutes before the stream adjusting the microphone. I don't think it's going to get any better. Sadly. Although I did say I was going to buy a new mic. Here. I'll do this fix. I'll just, uh... Okay, that's maxed. Eighty bucks, dude. I paid twenty bucks for this shit. I mean, I guess that makes sense, considering how shitty it is, but... Alright, conditions for winning are still the same. Defeat Maluda. This is the first assassination battle in the game, where you just gotta snipe one dude and it's over. So let's see if Maluda comes out to, to be sniped. Now something I should point out here. Maluda is a Virgo. Just like every boss in Chapter 1 is a Virgo. Most people don't notice that. Lit is a Virgo, Wygraph is a Virgo, and, you know, spoilers, Algus himself is a Virgo. So, my entire team has good compatibility with Virgo. That's why Ramsay is a Taurus, you know, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus. So, uh, because I have good compatibility with Virgo, I'm gonna do a lot of damage. Let's check out Maluda anyways. Oh, I'm bad. This fight isn't especially hard, although in the normal game sometimes the thieves can know steel hearts. So if you have any females, they can get charmed and it kinda sucks. Alright, nothing too insane. That's basically what she had in the original game. Ah uh, yes, priest. Um I can show it here. Yeah, I said I was gonna I took a look at priest off screen and man, they really changed the shit out of this. Okay, so you got cure, right? And you got life. And you got some of the other staples. But then you have things like holy strike, rejuvenate. Which I guess is like Cure 2 or Cure 3. Spirit Surge, I don't even know what the fuck's going on there. And, you know, the rest are basically the same. Although Holy costs 40 MP. In the original game it cost 60 MP, and it was pretty broken. I wonder if they nerfed it in this version. And everything else is the same. Priest actually has no movement ability. That's not something he removed, there was just none in the original game either. So I don't know if I'll get hit by any of this shit, but we'll see. Uh, no. Maluda's not a special class. She's just a knight. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 hold on. She's a white knight. It's absolute garbage. God damn. Alright, hold on. Okay, how about now? Is it any better? I wanted to, like, put the X split uh, thing that shows how loud your mic is, but I couldn't figure out how to do that because my monitor isn't big enough. I don't know, it seems pretty good right now. Anyways, apparently Maluda is a white knight, even though she doesn't know Holy Sword. White knight is Wygraph's class. Well, I just reposition and then I don't change it. I don't move at all. Alright. Man, that priest has a lot of hit points. Oh, because she has a clip armor. I see. Well, Baluda is hanging back, I guess. So we'll hang back, too. No reason to rush in.
Yeah, hopefully it's a little better now. I mean, I showed you XSplit, whoa. That chick knows black magic. How many turns do we have to interrupt her? A spirit surge, I see. Alright, well, we have three turns to kill her. Uh, the chrono can't reach. That's okay. Let's see... We can't get time strike off. We can't get a regular attack off. <laughs> Good money for the stream. Yeah, I wish. And I can't reach. Well, I guess I could chain lightning through Ramza to hit that bitch. What's the compatibility? Uh, it's gonna be neutral. I'm gonna have magic attack up. And what's chain light uh, lightning's vertical? Is it infinite? Yeah. Alright. Let's see if this kills. Nope. Oh, it is gonna do a shit ton. Yeah, that wasn't bad, actually. Because Ramza was gonna die anyways. Oh, HP restore is not good. He's at full health. That sucks. That looked like a new animation to me. No, it wasn't a new animation. What could that have possibly been? No, the souls are different. I know what the soul animation looks like. And it's not that. Although it's probably a modified version of it. Oh, you mean like one of the later souls? I'm used to like Thunder Soul. Cause that's the one that the low tier skeletons have. Oh, that missed. Actually, we can probably just kill Maluda right now, huh? With a good chain li uh, lightning.
All right, Vegeta's slow. No wonder he didn't get a turn. Algus, you're so useless. Time for some story. It's all very touching. Oh, damn, so harsh. Alright, hopefully Melita rushes forward like an idiot. Okay, that appears what she's doing. You do have to kill Melita. You cannot critical her, you cannot super critical her, as I like to call it. Wait, oh, Ramza came back to life. Um, even though I didn't revive him. That's called storyline resuscitation. Sometimes when people talk, um, important characters to the story will revive. Usually Guess or Ramza. So that's why Ramza came back to life. Oh yeah, and I taught Ridley Auto Potion, which is pretty amazing. Still. He's dead though. Goddamn, slow hurts. Guess we gotta go for the Hail Mary and kill Maluda. Hits, I think I win. If it doesn't, I think I lose. Oh, I can adjust it right now. Is that any better? Where is explosion happening? Uh, oh yeah, on Algus. Right. Yeah, okay. Eighty-five percent to kill. Alright, let's do it. Was it? That's strange. Anyways, this will I have an eighty-five percent chance to win, and then we'll fix it. If this fails, then we reset. We did it! Yeah, surrender and we'll spare you, even though half of us are dead. Okay, how about now? Is this any better at all? Maybe? Just a little bit? Melita will limp away. Keep talking? Well, I am talking. And I don't move at all after I'm done adjusting the mic. Although sometimes I drink some water. Yeah, I know. If you have bad internet, uh, it causes more stream delay. That's something I've learned over time. Here comes Zelbag being a boss.
Yeah, refreshing to catch up works. That's a good idea. Hey, I love that line. Anybody there? That's exactly what you should say when you see your brother collapse in front of you. What did you just realize? Yep, that's true, Vegeta. No one in FFT has a nose. Alright. What did we learn from our experiences? Not much. Because it was an assassination battle, we didn't really learn too much JP. Although I should get... Uh, I wish Chrono had enough for Wave Fist, so we could have range. Although Spin Fist is Effect 3 now, just like the Goblin's Turn Punch. So, I was thinking of picking that up for him, since that seems like something Chrono would do, just spin around wildly flailing his fists in the air. So I think I will. Alright. And nothing else has changed. Alright, so you should enjoy Spin Fist then. Anyways, more story. Oh shit, uh... Reset. That was my fault. I'm pretty sure it de-equips Algus anyways, but just to be sure. I'll take his shit off. Algus is going to leave as soon as I go to Igros. And I, I think it gives you your equipment back anyways, but I know he had the parrying sword. So just in case, you never know what he changed. Okay. Now we can go. It does? Yeah, that's what I thought. But you never know what they changed in this hack. <laughs> now, I still don't think I can use Wolf yet. I think I have to wait until Chapter 2. And even then, I think I have to wait until midway through Chapter 2. I know it unequips Gafgarion. That I know, because that's a way you can dupe items. You equip whatever item you want to dupe onto Gafgarion at the Battle of Zyrakyle Falls, and then you steal from him. And then you get the item you stole, and you get the item returned to you when the battle is over. So you can get like two armors or two shields. Yeah, I'm living out my fantasies through Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. That's how I get my kicks. Yeah, it is. It's not really worth it. But, you know, whatever. Just a little tidbit for anyone who cared. Plus there's a duplication glitch anyways, which I've never used, but I don't know if he left that in or not. I assume he took it out. Yeah, this is where Elgus gets his comeuppance.
We got some teen angst going on. Although I think they're like 20 years old or something. I can check the Brave story, but I don't care enough. Using the shrug shoulders, and then he's off. I'm not sure if Igros has new stuff yet. I'll check. Yeah, everyone's an asshole in FFT except Ramza, basically. And Alma, I guess. Uh, we can buy stuff we already have. And we can buy Iron Helmet, which I want. Bronze Armor. Uh, I think I only have one person using armor. Yeah, just one. Oh damn, 155 hit points. That's so beast. Alright, no random battle. Oh right, oh my god, it's Chrono's favorite scene, I forgot. I won't talk during this, I'll just let the magic speak for itself. Oh really, is that true, Vegeta? Yeah, good thing I fixed the sound, huh? <laughs> God damn, dude. That's not a sound error, that's actually how it sounds like. Alright, that was pretty magical. Does Garland have anything new? Yeah, they're connecting a dial-up. Exactly. No, no. Alright, this is all the same. I, I really doubt it. he changed the fucking rumor text in bars, but you know. You never know. I think we're good. Linalia Plateau. Uh, I think Vegeta said something, but it didn't appear on my screen. I hate when that happens. Oh shit, I can use everyone? Hot damn. Oh, well, shit. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I forgot this is, uh... First battle, where you can use everyone. Anyways, I did unlock Priest for Wolf. Yeah, my bad. I do solo challenge runs. I don't know when you can use all your party members. I'm sorry. I guess this is a good time to go over what I changed to Wolf. I did unlock Priest. So there you go. And I should still have that staff. Yeah. Wait. Battle boots. I never gave... Wait. Oh, Algus' battle boots. That's right. He gave them to me. Uh... No. 
No, Vegeta doesn't need them. I guess Ridley needs them to get in range. And we have a lot, huh? Alright. So let's see what bullshit we can learn. I guess... Cure and whatever Holy Strike is. It's a melee strike? That sounds so useless. Let's learn Cure. And be done with it. No. They upped out a potion of 600 uh, in this this particular patch. It was 500 before. Uh, still can't buy high potions, right? I really doubt you can. Oh. So we'll just give him item. Basic skill isn't going to do anything. Oh, black magic. That's what I should do. That is definitely what I should do. Eh. There we go. We should be good. Let's do it. Linalia Plateau is very similar to Thieves Fort in that you fight Maluda and you have to kill Maluda. Only this time she's actually pretty buff. At least she was in the original game. That's good. But it's still an assassination mission, and we're still all good compatibility to Virgo, so I'm not expecting too many problems. When is Vegeta not going to be an archer? In Chapter 2, and I can send thieves on propositions, because I'm not using the actual thief class in battle. It's too terrible. Thief is really bad. The skill set's really bad. All you can do is steal shit. It's basically like you can charm people, and that's it. So I'm going to get his JP through propositions. Did chime, time age change at all? Um, I forgot. Let's check. Sometimes the time mages here will know haste, and it's a real pain. No, that's right, it didn't change. Although, they increased the JP on some stuff, but, you know, nothing major. They left quick the same, though. That's very interesting to me. And critical quick. We might have some fun with that in the future. Spoil something about Thief, huh? Uh, go ahead. I mean, I already unlocked it. I didn't see anything unusual, but... It all looked the same to me. I did learn Steel Heart, but we're not using um, Steel here. We're using Item, because Item is better. They do, huh? Well, thanks for not telling me, Arkale. You're the best. Cool. Alright. What do we got? Uh, power Wrist already? Yeah, Maluda's pretty beefy. Goddamn. Regenerator and move HP up. Y'all have bows. Uh, white magic. Black magic. Goddamn. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna take some unavoidable damage. Right at the start. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, and she's hasting already. Oh, 
Oh wow, Wolf is not dead. Amazing. Well, um, hopefully Maluda rushes forward like an idiot. And we already got... Alright, well she's gonna get mid-charged. For sure. Uh, where do I want to mid-charge her from? Wave fist can go through walls, right? It's been so long. Yeah, we'll just punch her. Uh, let's hope this works. Uh, vertical tolerance three. God damn. God damn. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't want to wave fist from the top of the cliff because I was going to have Ridley chain lightning her. Damn, that resolves fast. Maybe he'll come back to life through the story. Hi. Hi. Nope, he's still dead. Um, I should. Uh, not right now. I need to focus and try not to die too terribly. Why was that? Why would that do less? Why do I not have a rod? Did my rod get broken? I know I equipped one. Wow, that's very strange. It must have got broken when I wasn't looking. Jeez. All right. Uh, Ramsey won't get a turn to get in on his heel, but that's okay. And yeah, Concentrate is pretty nice. At least in this game. Kinda useless in the original game. Not many units wore mantles. Or had abandoned, or things like that. Sometimes it looks like it does, like, double damage there, but it doesn't. She has steel, apparently. I see. Uh, here, let's just line up for AoEs. Yeah, I mostly did that to restore Ridley's MP. Oh damn, these archers do so much. Archer looks like it was really buffed. That's why I kept Vegeta as an archer. He's part of the reason why. That and concentrate. That should all resolve. Oh, the AI's taking forever. I love that. 
Sometimes the AI will randomly take like a million a million years to take its turn. That happened in the original game as well. Out of potion? Nope. A lot of people dying. Except Alita, of course. So let's see, let's think about this since I might have to reset. Uh, well, the wave fist at the beginning was a mistake. I forgot its vertical tolerance was only 3, and it was a height of 3.5. So, that was a mistake. Uh, forgetting Ridley's Rod was a mistake. I probably should just make Wolf a wizard anyways, just so I can out the strike Maluda. But we're not out of it yet. Although I wish Vegeta wasn't charmed. Maybe Maluda will be an idiot, rush forward, and we can do some damage. Ah, oh, damn, I do so little damage. Why? That doesn't make sense to me. Charm lasts forever, I think. Yeah, it doesn't tell you. Uh, either it lasts forever or it lasts the standard amount. One of those two. No, but seriously. I'm a monk, we have good compatibility. I have 72 brave. And I'm only doing 28 damage to Maluda. I don't understand. Seven PA. Ish. <sighs> Innate defense up, really? Uh, why? And now I have act activated her regenerator. So in addition to having Regenerator, move HP up, and a ton of support to cure her and whatnot, she also has innate defense up. God damn. I guess that's the compensate for the stupid AI, which will always rush forward. So I guess that's the style we have to play. Wait for her to rush forward, and just kill her. Alright. Once this is unrecoverable, I'll reset, and we'll win. Goddamn, Sylphina, take your... Oh, what is she doing? Yeah, that's not too surprising. Cyclone, what does this do? What was that? What did it add? Float. What a weird status effect to add. What's Melita gonna do? Ah. Uh. I see. God damn, that's sick range. Well, um... As much as I like to think Frodo can bring it back on his own, I don't think he will be able to. So let's see if Float increases my height by one, like it did in the original version. 
And I spin fist, even though it has zero vertical tolerance. Will that hit her? I can't. I don't think it will. Float works like oil, but for wind. Oh. That's... I see. No, it's not gonna hit. The panel isn't green. That's not gonna hit either. Whee! <laughs> okay. Alright. That was tough. But we can do it. Give me about two minutes to reorganize. We'll take down Melinda. The archers at the beginning are tough, though. There's nothing you can do to avoid that. Welcome back, Vegeta. It didn't go so well, unfortunately. No, we didn't win. But we're regrouping, and we'll give it our best shot now. It was a tough fight. charge anything. Is this really the most burst damage I can do? No, it's not. <laughs> Gee, man, so get out of here with that shit, dude. Even though Ramza is a male, I think I've said this to Vegeta a few times, Ramza gains as if he was both male and female. He gains, uh, max, uh, like, the PA and HP as if he were a male, and he gains the MA and MP as if he were a female. So he can work in any class. Which is pretty nice. So... Whenever I encounter difficulty, I always go back to what I know. And what I know is... Spamming wizard spells until I win. You know, time strike isn't too bad, but... Yeah, I'll check it out. I still have plenty of people with item and guts. Is that really the best support ability I can have? Quick change? Ugh. Eh, I guess I'll give him white magic. You're right. Alright. Everyone knows explosion. Everyone has a flame rod. Let's see how this goes. 7MA, 8MA. Okay, that makes sense. Round two. The plan is we wait for Maluda to walk forward like an idiot, and then we explode her into smithereens. Possible, Krona. We'll see. That put me in the water, right? That didn't move me, like, further towards them. The PBF, the pre-battle formation, is always something that I've never truly gotten the hang of. Yeah, I did it right. 
But I mean, the archers can hit you like anyway, anywhere on screen because of how longbows work. Longbows get a range bonus if you're higher up than the target you're shooting at. How come Weapon Guard didn't give me any evasion? Oh, he must have had Concentrate. Yeah, okay. Well, I can't cure Berserk. And, um, Berserk never wears off. And, that's a wizard. So <laughs> I think we just lost a unit. That's a lot, huh? What am I going to do about that Berserk? I'd have to kill her. In fact, I think I will. That makes the most sense. Or Delita knows heal, which cures Berserk? Interesting. Lita never ceases to impress me. Oh, baby. Uh, seven. Trunctuates. Ten speed. Six clock ticks. Turn order favors Lita. Do a full weight. deal. Innate defense up. Who should I haste? Or cure? Nah, curing's a waste of time. Okay, I'll, I'll haste Ridley. Sorry, I was thinking pretty intent about that. No, I won't. Haste Vegeta. Yeah, full waiting makes the most sense. If you think about the turn order. Blue is hasted, so she's gonna run right up to us, and hopefully not charm, but she'll be in firing range. Here she comes. What she got for us? Steal again. And I hasted Vegeta, that sucks. But we'll get a turn to really wail on her. I might get a turn before that resolves. Chrono and Ridley, huh? I could break the charm, but I don't think it would stop anything. Spin fist. Spin fist wouldn't hit anyone. I think we just gotta hang out. If I go in there, they're all hasted. 
And they're all gonna kick my ass. You got charmed, Vegeta. Ugh, I can't even explode. Because the archers are gonna mid-charge me. Yeah, Garcia. Ugh. Yeah, I have to. Get some damage in. Well, that did a lot. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do. We have to break through it. Vegeta getting charmed at the beginning really sucks. Not only are we down a unit, but he's also working against us. Thank you, Auto Potion, for working. Um, there's nothing I can do to prevent charm. Uh, Enkai Armlet isn't available in stores yet. I doubt maintenance would prevent it. It sucks too because you're hasted, Vegeta. Where is... Oh, I don't have Punch Heart, that's right. I... Uh, wizard. Yeah, nothing I can do to stop that, Vegeta. Absolutely nothing. Except I guess I could haste myself. At least we earned Maluda's second line of text, though. And she's rushing forward a bit more. Probably a charm. Nope, she knows Wave Fist. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I see what happened. He must have added Wave Fist to Maluda's battle skill because she's a white knight. And Wygraph knows punch skill, not punch art, punch skill. So I guess that's a reference to Wygraph. Thank you, God, Delita. You're the best. Alright, haste is worn off. Here come the AoEs, maybe? Uh, looks like a cure to me. Yep. That won't kill. Uh, I kind of want to get in on that heal. In fact, I think I will. Yeah. People fucking dead, dude. And no progress on Maluda. Sixty two, thirty six. Ugh. And then he's just gonna die again, dude. I took out item. Ugh.
It has to be Vegeta. There's no way you can kill everyone here. The best strategy is always to snipe people. It is harder. Much harder. Alright. After this, I have a few more ideas. If you actually expect me to kill everyone here while they're all healing and rezzing each other, you're nuts. I gotta kill Maluda. I guess everyone's dead. Alright. I have an idea. Yeah, I wonder how much you can do without JP grinding. Apparently. I didn't grind too much. Alright. Two things I'm going to change. I'm going to give time magic back to Ridley. And so I can haste myself. Instead of item. Give item back to Chrono. And I'm going to keep Vegeta back. I'm not giving item to uh, Delita. That would end poorly. I need him out there taking hits. I guess I have to do this to avoid charm. That's so stupid. Or whatever. I guess with Delita Rezzing could help a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking. I'll give it a shot next time if this doesn't go too well. Wait a minute. Now she has 126 hit points? Ugh. Alright, I see the items on bosses can still be randomized. Um, despite popular belief, what's going on? I missed. Um, items on bosses are not fixed. They can vary from time to time. Maluda did have a chance of randomly having, like, way lower hit points than she should have. And apparently that's what happened here. She has 121. So let's not blow it. We're getting pretty lucky, at least. That's explosion. The results before I get a turn. That's pretty cool. I guess here, Delita probably would have revived, so it wouldn't have made too big, too big a difference instead of, you know, throwing stone, which we'll miss at 95%. I guess we'll give that a shot. Concentrate? It had to be. That was through Final Evasion, yeah.
Did I miss her turn? I did. That sucks. Uh, I don't want to line up for AoEs, but at the same time, I need to be in range to hit Maluda. I'm hasting Ridley here because he knows time magic, so he can haste um, Rams and the others in return. Don't move. Alright, she is a time mage. She keeps spamming black magic, I, I like forgot that. being smart. I hate that. Don't move words off pretty quickly. I'm not too worried about that. None of this shit's gonna fix charm. Frisia and Durva. Rebecca. It's you. No, it's you. What kind of name is Durva? He'll kill me mid-charge. Damn, dude. I was hoping it wouldn't kill. I knew he'd hit me, but... This shit resolves so fast. Uh, being all archers wouldn't do anything. They have the high ground, that's why they can hit you anywhere on the map. Okay. I should stay out of that. What's the range on this bow? Right, so one more square. No good option. It's so tough too, because the AI will vary a bit depending on what skills it's equipped with. Like, Melita didn't rush forward this time. Instead, she chose to go for Delita. I guess another side effect of getting Delita Phoenix down was he'd stay at home. So Melita wouldn't target him. I guess we'll go with that. Other than that, I'm setting myself up for an Alpha Strike as best I can. Defeating all the enemies wouldn't do anything because they just chain res each other. I could try and defeat them as they come close, but they all have ranged uh, attacks. The archers have kind of, can of course hit you anywhere on the map. And the time mages have range 6 black magic spells. Let's see, do they? It will vary. 
This guy has item. This guy has white magic. And I guess that's it. Two out of five. Anyways, Melita has low hit points, so maybe it's still possible. Are both wizards dead? Uh, concentrate. Oh wow, everyone's dead except Chrono again. What do you even do? You can't avoid the damage at the start unless I power leveled. Uh, I can't increase speed unless I gave them knives. Um, we will change Deleted to a Chemist. All my units have high damage to snipe Maluda when she runs forward. I don't want uh, Dalita to have a knife. I don't know what the turn order will be. I think he goes first anyway, so it won't matter. I can't learn stigma magic to cure the berserk and whatnot. Ah, but other than that, you can't do mu too much more damage than three wizards with flame rods that all know explosion. High faith, too. Ah. I buffed the lead up anymore. I really don't want to have to go back to the days where I need to teach Delita Auto Potion in order to win. <laughs> Did the stream die? Or was it my net? Probably your net, Vegeta. Just you. I'll probably use my high potions. It's all good. Nah, I wish it's not worth learning. I don't think I want any guts. Nah, I'll give it. Whatever. shot. I'm gonna have to cut the stream if we can't beat this battle. Because I'd probably have to go back and change stuff. Probably grind out um, a ranged ability for Chrono. Maybe get Earth Slash, things like that. Getting a haste off would at least help a little bit. Uh, whatever. Yeah, wizards in the back. Haste. Okay. Part of uh, challenge runs in FFT, the solo challenge runs, we're getting lucky. But I mean, I have a whole team here. And all I have to do is kill one dude. But she looks to have innate defense up, magic defense up, things like that. No way to mitigate that if it's inherent. Uh, Dysodarg is a famous example. He has innate defense up and magic defense up as well. When you fight him in Chapter 4 at Igros Castle. Uh, 
as a loon knight. So, since Delita has a knife, the Wukami have it too. I already forgot what I was talking about. Oh no, they don't have it. In the original game, they don't. They might have it in this version. Anyways, because Delita has a knife, He's going to go for, uh, first, because he has 7 speed. Which could be a good or bad thing, I guess. The AI is smart, too, getting on level uh, ground to haste uh, his allies. I like Vegeta, uh, Delita's gonna die. Might have been better to take off his knife, so he didn't go first. That knight can go far. But she sucks. Alright. Let's see if we can actually kill someone. That'd be a big plus. What is the range? Five. Okay. Um, I need to be here anyways to get in on the haste. Time strike doesn't arc, that's right. The dude told me that. That's good design. We can only get three people in on this haste. And I can't chakra. I can item. Oh uh, no, the wizards will kill her. I mean, I, I assume so. What's her faith? So yeah, 65. The wizards will most likely kill her. Alright, good start. Let's see how many hastes haste hit. Alright, three out of three. Wow, she's oiled. This is gonna do a lot. Wow, 92. Well, this is our best start yet. Don't move. I guess we'll deal with it. And Maluda's slowly moving forward. Uh, Claude can move. I don't want to move forward. That would be bad. I don't want to wave this killer. Oh, not if I'm a wizard. <laughs> That's right. Don't move his resolving wire. I already forgot it. Okay. All 
Alright. We'll deal with that. But this bitch is dead. Anyone need healing? Yes. So, Maluda will probably walk forward and charm. That's my guess. Yeah, what is her HP this time? Oh, it's already starting. The bullshit is starting. Uh, we got low HP again. That's nice. She Will she always know steel? Yeah. So she's probably going to walk up right here. If she's stupid, she'll charm Chrono, and he can't move. Although he'll punch the shit out of me, I guess. Or she'll charm Ramza. And then we're just gonna Alpha Strike her. God damn, is this guy really gonna shoot me from across the map? I see I still have counter set. Very useful reaction ability for a wizard. <laughs> Here come the fucking AoEs. Let's look at the turn order. Uh, can't kill her before it resolves. I guess I'll heal this shit, assuming we live. Wow, it's gonna hit everyone, huh? Cool spell. Yeah. Every time I look at it, it's still gonna hit everyone. Chrono can move. Well, not really, but... I guess Rams is dead. See what happens. That is the downside to bunching up. But it's not like I have uh, too many places to go. Maybe we can get some turns in. I think it's time to start working on Maluda. Because everyone's pretty much hasted already. How far, sh how far can she move? Oh wow, okay. Obviously she can't charm... Uh, ...any of the girls. Because she's a girl. Already 70 down. She's not gonna run, she's not in critical. She's not gonna heal herself. Although she's gonna talk about the meaning of life, because we hurt her. If you're wondering what, when those dialogues happen, it's when you hurt the bosses. When they get to a certain percentage of hit points... Ah, yes. Earth Slash. Because her brother knows Earth Slash, because he's also a white knight. Makes sense. Heal's going on. Uh, is it really going to come down to Wolf? No, it's not. It won't, won't resolve in time. Okay. This will mitigate some of the curing. Uh, only 32. Is that worse compatibility? It looked like it. Virgo. Pisces. I believe that's worst. Yep. Lucky break there. Time, no time for time strike. Let's arc a shot here. Uh, 
Always had problems with those. Let's just hit her. And what's the turn order coming up? Daniel gave the archers and one wizard. And then we have three turns. Is this ever, is this ever gonna wear off? Three turns to do something. So if, like, just one of the wizards lives, we'll be okay. Good auto potion. She has enough for another cyclone, I think. Looks like that's what she's gonna do. It's gonna resolve already? Oh, thank you, God. Don't move Word off. We're off. Word off! percent chance to win. I want to save state so bad, but I can't. I want to so bad, dude. It really is over if it doesn't hit. Nothing you can do. Give me your strength, chat. Hot damn. My mic drifted like a ton during that. I don't know if you can still hear me or not. Wow, okay. Oh, what a tough battle. And Wygraph is only going to be tougher. With that fucking Chocobo. Boko the Master Healer. Annette died, so you missed the whole fight. Wow, cool game. Oh shit, we got more random people. Sup, Mepis? You're my favorite random. Why does it show Ridley in the chat? That's weird. Yeah, we won. We're the best. I'm the best. Think you can beat the FFT Master? Get the fuck out of here. We're the best. Although that was pretty fucking close. Maybe I should just teach everyone this Cyclone bullshit. learn that shit. Um, the problem is I can't amp it. Because it's wind. But what? We got new shit already? I see. Leech is MP. That's strange. In the original game, the Mage Masher uh, added silence. I believe it was also a different color. I don't remember it being purple. I think it was... Uh, Yellow. It was yellow gold. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, let's... Uh, power up. Power up.
Um, the thing with wearing clothes over, ro over robes is they don't give you any MP, but they give you a lot of hit points. What turned out to be the magic formula to win? I got lucky. And... Yeah, that's basically it. Maluda spawned with low hit points. Everything went in my favor. The turn orders worked out pretty well. All my hastes landed. And I made good decisions. So, that's about it. I got lucky. Yeah, you can't amp wind. I never got a red hood for Wolf. Buy a linen robe, red hood. battle is such a challenge. I'm used to chapter 1 just being a cakewalk where you don't really have to think too much about what you're going to buy or what you're going to do. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to look at that cyclone shit. I guess I'll teach it to Wolf. Not like he's doing much. So Y-Graph, uh, Y-Graph, who's in that battle? I feel like it's, uh, two monks, two female monks for sure, and two female knights. Every time you fight Y-Graph, he shows up with an all-female harem to kick your ass. And Boko, I guess. <laughs> I think it's two female knights, two female monks, and Boko. He's not going to rush forward like Maluda because he has Holy Sword and he's going to spam that shit. But at the same time, I don't think I can kill everyone either. Uh, I didn't really gain enough JP. Yeah, Boko. What about Boko? I didn't really gain enough JP to do anything too useful. So how can you kill Boko on the Battle of Wygraph and then just save him again later? Um, you don't really kill Boko. He has stars over him. It's like, he has the, the plot immunity, Vegeta. He has stars. Just like, um, all major enemies. And then after the Death Corps, uh, dissolves, Boko runs away. And then you find him in Aragoy, Aragoy Woods. So that's that. I don't know why I keep looking at all this shit, dude. Nothing's changed. I'm just, like, trying to make up reasons not to go fight Wygraph, I guess. Uh, and I'm level 8, too. So they're gonna spawn at level 8. Alright. Let's just take a look. We'll try and keep the same strategy, but... Uh, the Wygraph battle is so much tougher. Uh, than the Lanalia Plateau battle against Maluda. We're going all wizards. Nothing but assassination battles ahead. First Maluda, then Wygraph, then Algus. Then we're done. Uh, but at this ta at this rate... It's not looking good. Wizards are the best for alpha striking. It was the same in the original game, apparently it's the same here, especially with things like explosion. And fire rods. You know what the fucked up part is? Everyone here has good compatibility to the bosses, too. Imagine if I didn't. Imagine if I didn't know going in that I'd be fighting a bunch of Ergos in the first chapter.
This is a hilarious scene where Wygraf reprimands his lieutenant for kidnapping the wrong girl. And the small stone, big wave bullshit. I like the squire and archer just chilling. You never actually fight those two. Oh yeah, and Wygraf's a little pissed uh, we killed his sister. You know, not really pissed, just like, ah, oh, man. You hate to see this type of thing happen. So he's gonna come out here and kick our ass with Holy Sword. And his Holy Sword hurts a lot. Only four. Um... Obviously I want both wizards for alpha striking. I guess all Chrono does is take hits, huh? Alright. We'll leave Chrono out. Windmill shed. The top of the windmill here has like some crazy height. It's one of the highest points in the game. Why is Boko a different color? Why is Boko... Ugh. Dude, they're all wearing different colors. There's no way they would have two different color palettes. Archer, no knights. Want me to explain? You want me to find out later? I'll find out later, dude. It's, it feels like there are less enemies here. White Chocobo! Choco Star. Good start. What is going on here, dude? What the fuck? Is that Serpent? My god, it is. It's Serpentarius. What the fuck, dude? Okay, so... Not only is Boko... Wait, what is going on here? What do you mean, ignore height? You can ignore height anyways. Inspires other monsters. Oh, dude. Choco Craft? Chocobo Job Command! Dude, this guy is a fucking tryhard. That's all I'm gonna say. Item! Oh no, he knows counter magic! Oh. My heart just sank to the bottom of the ocean. Here we go. Stasis sword. Or not. I see. Anyways, if Wygraf knows counter magic and he has 71 brave... Well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe it's not so bad. What's his MA? And what's his faith? Ugh. I keep doing that. Eight MA, that's pretty rough. Like these monks have four by comparison. Let's look how high this windmill is. That's crazy. Okay. Um, I do want to haste myself again. Looks like this is the, the spot to haste. Three by three. I 
At the same time, though, Holy Sword is AoE. Okay, good. That didn't trigger explosion. See what happens here. Good start. Okay. He's not, I am. Damn, counter magic is gonna hurt so much. Lita, what are you doing? Stop that. Although, if I could just kill him, counter magic won't do much. Coco is in a hurry to go somewhere. Good old Choco Ball. That was a black Chocobo ability. Original game. Does he have that regenerator shit too? He has move HP up, that's right. So Wygraf will either move here and do a physical attack on Alita. I oh, know he won't, he's gonna use Holy Sword, because he's in range. Or he's gonna come over here and AoE us. Um, either way, I think I'll heal. See what Wygraph's got for us. I was afraid of this stasis sword. It's a kill. It's a kill. Okay. I can't avoid that um, as far as him killing multiple people by standing on different heights. I assume. Vertical tolerance is still pretty strict. Actually, if I wait in place and I'm hasted, I can get two explosions off. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh, they're, they're gonna fucking heal him. He has this fucking entourage to heal him. What do you know? Okay. She might know Chakra. And she can go to any of these squares. I know she can't. She can't reach for Chakra. But I know Boku's got some bullshit planned. Anyways. Oh, and that's right. Counter magic will kill me. As well. Well, let's hope it doesn't go off. Let's see, can I make myself immune to fire any, in any way? I don't think I can. No. But if I can get two explosions off, and maybe just like a random... Oh, wait, Fisk can do million damage. I didn't move back. That was dumb. That was my fault. That wasn't the game's fault. Okay. Hmm. See, if he has counter magic, I could make everyone archers. That way I wouldn't have to eat a counter attack. I'd have to buy more longbows, and probably teach everyone time strike. Crush punch? Yep. You are dead. Let's look at the game over screen. Okay, he didn't change that.
Well, it's hard to know in advance, Vegeta, what you're dealing with. Like, I couldn't have known Wygraf would have counter magic. Not that it ended up mattering. I couldn't have known that Boko was a fucking white chocobo with powers from beyond. That's what you, you know, gotta deal with when you play a ROM hack blind. You have to go in, you have to die, and then you have to make um, adjustments based on what you saw. So one thing I'm thinking of is making Chrono an archer, teaching him time strike. I already know it. That's right. It was meant to be. God damn, he has so many hit points. Oh, it's getting close to 11 too. We might have to save Fort Zeke for next time if we even beat this battle. And I need to go to Igros for bows. Oh, shit. We got... Dude, everything in the world is available. Oh, we can buy silver bows. Okay, that's definitely the best strategy then. That's right, I got an axe, too. I, I never look at my, my, my uh, war trophies, I guess you call them. What did I get? Ability to decapitate? Oh, oh, I guess it's critical. Well, rack, uh, axes deal random damage, so they're not too useful. Bows, however, would be very useful. PA, 6PA, 6PA. But Chrono has equipped armor, so I should leave Vegeta out. Okay. Uh, battle boots are not going to be too useful here, since we're not going to be going anywhere. So let's give everyone mantis as well. Stuff. I was looking at the cell. That's right. Ugh. And one more. Uh, one for Nalita as, as well. I sort of wish there was a version of this mod that was just some changes to battles, new random battles, not totally overhauling entire classes. Well, I know there's a like an easy type version of this game, Vegeta, but I'm not playing that because I'm not a little bitch. I also can probably go for. I don't need MP since I'm gonna have to strike Y graph, so I can just go for more hit points. Buy two more mantles. What should I sell? I guess I don't need the longbow anymore. <laughs> I just avoid the BS class in my own playthrough. Yeah. That's what I do too, Vegeta. I mean, this game, the regular game is so easy, you don't really need to, to cheese it too hard. Uh, 
Do I want deleted the Russian? Wait. Oh, Vegeta has 7 speed. Probably because he leveled more in Archer. Whoops. Well, they're interchangeable anyways. Oh, except for the hit points. Because Kay has a crypt of armor. That's right, that's why. Um, yeah. I think I want deleted. No, I don't. I don't want to rush in. Can I teach him defend? Okay. I want him to go forward and defend. So that's what he's gonna do. I don't think I want him to know guts. But yeah, I do. I'm really regretting not uh, hiring a generic with higher brave now for Ridley, because auto potion is pretty good still. If everyone had auto potion here, then that's like a last resort. If I can't beat this battle tonight, I will just go and teach everyone auto potion. That should like significantly improve my chances of winning. All right. Alright, while we reset, while going through green dots, I'll read the chat. Well, I mean, to be fair, right on the title screen, Vegeta, it says, you know, insane difficulty, quote unquote. So it's not like he's, you know, dishonest about it. It's, he's very upfront about what he's trying to present here. And, you know, I've played harder ROM hacks, if you can believe that. Did I teach Rams a time strike? Oh, that was good. I think I checked that. Who are we? We're going with, yeah, Chrono. Fair hand, Delita. Although he's just gonna go forward and defend, he can wear a knife. All right, we'll give it a shot. Another thing that's kind of hurting me is. Um, enemies are scaling to my level now in storyline battles. They never did that before. I forget what level Wygraph would be here. I want to say like level 6 or 7. But here everyone's going to be level 8. Because Rams is level 8. Now you can relive the magic of this cutscene. I don't know, I guess just holding a knife makes you feel quicker. Just like wearing a green beret in the original game made you feel quicker. FFT is a game about, you know, uh, your own ability to perceive yourself. And your ability to motivate yourself. Like if you wear a thief hat, you get plus two speed. I mean, you're not a thief, you're just wearing a thief's hat. But because you're wearing that hat, you think, man, I must be fucking fast as hell. Okay, enough filler. Uh, I want the high HP archer on the outskirt. Counter-Strike logic, yeah. You ran faster while holding the knife in Counter-Strike. I don't know why I know that. I've never played the game.
Yeah, shit isn't capitalized. What are you gonna do about it? Walk forward and die, please. That's what I want. Also, Serpentarius, every time I see that, it's... It throws me off. I have a good feeling, yes, I know. I guess... Alita isn't going to defend, because Choka, uh, Boko will always move first, because he's pretty fast. So he's going to run forward and probably stab him. Oh no, he's going to be nice. Use a high potion. Not upset about that. Alright, what do we got? Okay, okay, this is looking good. Okay, this looks easy. Wait. Oh... Fuck. It's okay, we can still win. We can still win. Ugh. How can I be so stupid? I don't understand. It boggles the mind, it really does. It boggles the goddamn mind. Where's, where's this? Oh, delete it. I don't care. Ugh. Oh. So much physical evasion, too. We will be going into certain battles naked, but now is not the time. It looks like I'd have to learn Concentrate, too. That's another reason to use Vegeta over Chrono. Well... Might as well heal. That being said, this is a good strategy. More or less. And a safe spot here. If I move here, a time strike will probably hit me, huh? Alright. But here I'm vulnerable to Stasis Sword. I'm gonna do no damage. Uh, cause I don't have magic attack up. Watch what Cyclone do. Man, maybe I should just spam this shit. Let's give it a shot. Time strike won't arc. It's a good start. Appear to have made a great mistake. Boku is still not in critical. That's pretty cool. He must be like one HP off. It does appear Holy Sword is affected by evasion, at least.
I get a turn in before I die. Maybe. No. Okay. One more try, and then I think I'll call it, because we are getting towards the end of the stream. Um, good start. I need uh, Vegeta instead of Chrono, because he has Concentrate to break through Wygraph's evasion. I guess I'll leave... I guess I'll turn Ramza back into a wizard and just eat the counter magic and try to explode him. Which means I will leave Chrono out. Which means I only need one archer. One archer. I need HP. I really don't have a second chain vest. All oh, right, because he was equipping armor. All right. He's good to go. Flame rod, flame rod. Oh, smart! I'd buy more chain vests. Yeah, he does. Alright, one more shot. We'll see what happens. I'd hate to end on a low note, but it looks like it might be. It's so tough to react to all this shit the first time through. Especially now that I know they have innate magic defense up and defense up. Because everything I know about the game beforehand, other than, you know, the AI is stupid and will walk forward, doesn't really apply anymore. Boko, at least, isn't being too much of a problem. I'd actually say Boko is, uh, more of a threat in the original game. Because he will choke a heal Wygraph. I don't remember his zodiac sign, but it certainly wasn't Serpentarius. Alright, let's use the right units this time. Box up, why not? One more shot, then I'll call it. I will never do any story battles off screen. I will do grinding off screen, but probably not too much. But simple things like auto potion on everyone would help a lot. Because right now I'm using shit like weapon guard, counter throw, etc. Yes, defeat Wygraph. Oh, by the way, we don't have to kill Wygraph. We have to put him into critical. So that's another thing going uh, for us. That's not a good start. Did he have that much move before? Speed ruin instead of crush punch? Sure, I'll take it.
Oh, wow. How much fall damage? Nine? Wow. Uh, she can just jump back up, though. How high was that? Yeah, archers have four base jump. Although she has jump plus one, but whatever. Sup, Merker? Welcome to the stream. You didn't catch me at my best moment. I'm looking vulnerable. I just I should just take pro out of the title of the stream. It's a, I'm a fraud. I've always been a fraud. Lita, are you gonna do anything? All right, Vegeta goes first because he has seven speed. I really wish Time Strike would work, but I guess that's not a thing that's gonna happen ever. Six range. Okay. Fifty, not bad. Board, looking for a screen entertain. You could watch Siglemic. He's doing Super Mario 64 120 star world record attempts. That's what I was watching before I put up my stream. And frankly, it's more interesting than this. Eh? <laughs> I like that answer. Fuck that. Cool. I like you. Alright. Delita. Even even when Delita's fucking confused, he's more helpful than half the people. Uh, half my own units. Holy shit. Is this gonna work? Am I just gonna kill him? I think he's dead. Oh, Delita, no! Delita, no! Delita, no! Delita, no. Oh shit, he's oiled though. Yeah, kill me, I don't care. He's dead. Do what? <laughs> what a battle. What a fucking battle. I think I'll highlight this whole battle. <laughs> Dude. Uh, what do you even say to this? Got past Brooklyn? Nice. Hopefully I'll get to the end of chapter two. See what he looks like. Fight my first Zodiac Demon. Actually, now I'm curious. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're gonna go over. We're gonna give Fort Zeekton one shot. Same strategy. Um, blow the shit out of Algus. And we're gonna see if that works. It's fun? Okay. And if it doesn't work, we'll call it quits. Oh yeah. Delita's like, where's my sister? Where's my sister? Is she behind this crate? No, she's not. She's gone. She's gone, dude. Just let it go. She's dead. No, she's not dead. She's still alive. Alright. Is that the end of the story? Yeah. Yeah, love read flute. Can you use everyone in here? I forget. I'm bad. Whatever, we'll equip Vegeta. Chrono, excuse me. Um, I don't think I learned anything that would be too useful. Um, I could teach... Yeah, I'll teach Chrono High Potion. How many do I have? Two? That's worth learning. What am I doing? Okay, focus. Every okay, calm down. Calm down. High Potion.
I don't remember. Straight up. I do solo challenge runs, I don't do full, full party. Four? Okay, thank you, Merker. Well, yeah, for chapter one. Obviously not the case in chapter, you know, two, three, and four. Although for the first half of chapter two, you know, you get Agrius, Gafgarion, things like that. Anyways, I'm wasting time. I do have some facts for this battle. Not in chapter three, dude. There are no guests in chapter three. You can use all five. I mean, who do you have in chapter three? You have Olin, you have Alma. Um... Who else? Oh, right. You have the Wonder Twins. Thank you. Dude, this game had a lot of guests. I forgot. The fucking Wonder Twins. Alright, we'll do wi one wizard, one archer. No, we won't. We'll do wizard, wizard. No, uh, TG Sid is never a guest. He joins your party, but he's not a guest, ever. That's right. Rafa sticks around for, um, the forest, the undead forest, the imperial capital, some other shit. We're gonna go with Vegeta instead of Chrono because he has concentrate. I forgot all about Rafa. Does your body still remember the pain, Rafa? Uh, we're not there yet, though. Anyways... It's snowing! Golgoros took Tita uh, hostage. And now Zalbag's trying to work his negotiations. No, Geomancer's best friend is, um... The one that adds dead. That. I forgot. I'm bad. But um, it's the it's whatever tile set is on the uh, the ship at the end of the game that adds dead. Oh yeah, Tita died. All right, I have a lot to say about this battle. Uh, first off, Delita's AI here is different than the most normal guest AIs. Delita will always go for Algus, if possible. Like, he has a death vendetta against Algus in this battle. So if you equip him with, like, a bow, or in the case of a solo challenge run, you give him summon magic, he will blow the shit out of Algus with Ramu. Straight up. Second of all, um, it's possible to lose Brave in this battle. If you let the battle go on for too long, Algus will, like, insult Ramza, and then Ramza will be like, oomph, and then he'll lose 10 Brave. Not the big deal. Not a big deal. But in solo challenge runs, uh, you need every brave point you can get. So you want to kill August as fast as possible. And elite marksman. What the fuck. Oh, what a great start. I love when one of my units dies straight off the bat. Second of all, Tita has a class. It's called elite assist. You can't look at it. But um, it contains cure. And wish. Uh, I talked to Vegeta about that before. But it's a real class. Uh, Tita has no sprites for like... Um, she has no battle animation sprites though. Like if you use a game shark to play as Delete Assist, um, it'll glitch out. She like won't have hands or something. Yeah, it's hilarious. Merker knows what's up. Merker's in there. Um, yeah, and I think that's all my factoids. Three knights, two wizards, same as the original game. Ugh. I'm just not close to Algus at all. How much range does this give me? Not enough. Alright, this is mostly a preview battle anyways. Oh yeah, what is that elite, elite marksman shit? I guess that's supposed to be a joke, because he, like, you know, kills two people with two arrows. 
Knight plus Archer. Huh? Ooh, he's got an Ice Bow. Ice Bracelet. <laughs> really? He didn't change it to Ice Breath. He left it in. He left Bracelet in. Okay, that's fine. Algus has Auto Potion. This is the same as in the original game. However, however, you'll notice Algus has 32 Brave. So. Auto Potion isn't the biggest deal, and even then, he'll only use the regular Potion, so it's a 30 HP heal that activates 32% uh, of the time. Newly promoted warrior that specializes in archery, I see. So, that hasn't changed as far as his Brave and Auto Potion goes. He has Concentrate? Does he actually? Oh, like inherent? Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh shit, I'm gonna get a turn. Thank you, Delita. He has the actual skill? Oh, okay, I wasn't watching. Ah. Well, that's true of all bosses. He does have Concentrate. Wait a minute, are you saying, um, all bosses have immunity to everything? Or did they keep their immunities that they had in the original game? Like, some bosses had holes in their status immunities in the original game. Like, um, uh, I forget. Oh, Zalbag, for example, was vulnerable to Don't Move. Um, and inside Muren Chapel. So they're pretty stats immune here? Okay. Gotcha. But yeah, you can hit Zelbag with Don't Move, and he won't move. I assume he has, um, inha inherent magic defend up. Yeah, it looks like it. You do have to kill Algus if you're not critical him. This is not five spaces. Oh, it is. I'm bad. This is gonna get a turn? Oh, right. Rams is dead, isn't he? Yeesh. And I'm over here. Middle of nowhere doing nothing. What is this shit? I see. Man, auto potion triggers? That's a 32% chance. Alright. Looks like this one will take some thinking. Ah, uh, speed save. Kill him. I think Algus has some words for us. Nope, not yet. Maybe because Ramza died? I don't know. I think Ramza will be revived to talk to Algus after some time has passed. You really need night skills on your archer in this game. Why would you say that? To break stats? I mean, right here it's an assassination battle, so... I'm not, see I'm not sure how that would help. Knight didn't seem like the best, even with all the changes. Later on, the weapons get two times what you can get. Oh, so you want to break their equipment? I don't know. Maybe. That's one route. I could just kill them by spamming wizard spells. That's kind of my tentative plan. I'll think about it, though. I want the text. I want Algus to start talking to me. 
Damn. This fool's just one-shotting everybody. I kind of like that wind spell. Cyclone, only 200 JP. Seems to do a good amount of damage, and the AoE is pretty big. It's like a baby, like, summon magic. Like Ramu or something. But without having to get summon magic. Anyways, I'll think about it after this is done. I'll plot my course of attack, and the next time we'll take out Algus for real. God damn, these guys are going in. Russia calculator. I don't believe calculators are in this game. I, d I don't want to know anything about Sage, by the way. Oh, okay. Apparently it has it. An 8 half cast. I see. Um, I'm not gonna grind too much though. I wanna, like, avoid the mega grind as best I can. But good to know. Is that everyone? No. Oh, it is. Alright. That's a good way to end it. Yeah, it's called Sage now. No worries. Alright, thanks for checking out the stream, guys. That was Thieves Fort, Linalia Plateau, and Fovahan Plains. We did pretty good, actually. A shame we couldn't beat Chapter 1, but Algus is a beast, apparently. So, um... Uh, I had a thing at the end, but I didn't prep it. One second. Thanks, always, for checking out the stream. That should mute it. Hope that muted the sound. You guys hear anything? Oh yeah, thanks for following. I appreciate it a lot. Oh, I played it? I see. Anyways, I fucked it all up. So I'll just see you guys next time. See ya! <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll be I'll be streaming again Sunday. Um, at this time, 9 p.m.